another treasure box. We're gonna open in three, two, one. What is good, YouTube? Adam over here from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com. Today I got a nice quick video for you. What's in the bag? I went thrifting, so quick trip to a thrift. Few items in the bag. Let's see what's in the bag. So you wanna sell on eBay, eh? <laughs> There is the bag, Walmart bag. I'm not using the IKEA's bags because they label you as a reseller. So I'm going incognito using the Walmart bag. Almost as good as the IKEA bag. I recommend this one. What did I get at the trip? Look at all the goodies. One store, one quick stop. So here's the first item. And this is not one of the greatest one, but look, it looks pretty cool. The deer, very beautiful, the birds. It's made in the USA, Springfield, and then there's some kind of signature. So the art probably is Walden, JC Walden. And it's a thermometer in Celsius. So there is uh, one, I think, listed or sold that's in Fahrenheit, goes up to 120. The one, this one goes up to 50, but pretty neat. Uh, vintage one, you can make, you can buy a brand new like this, but has different markings on the bottom. Right now on Amazon for like 20 bucks, but that's a vintage version, all plastic and seems to be working. And there is a sold same exactly one, but the listing photos are not that good. And it's sold for $21 out of stock. I maybe can flip mine for 30. We'll pay for the gas money. But let's see what's else in the bag there. Oh, this was also in the clock section. So this and this on the same shelf. $4.99 and it's a barometer. Looks like a ship wheel. And it's made in West Germany. So West Germany made in France barometers. They sell for me good. I probably sold the same one in the past, but I found some listing online. So this is about $50 item right here. Here is a sold one. Also the picture, not that good. Look at the picture, very dark. $35 Canadian. And there is one listed on Etsy. Look at this picture. It's the same barometer. And this one's for sale for $115. What else is in the bag? Oh, look at this. This little guy here. It's a doll. It has the New York Rangers hockey uniform on, has the skates and the gloves there and the hockey stick hold the rubber band holds it together. And it's a Mark doll. Aston Drake from the nineties. So there is a lot of these dolls out there with different teams, different, but I thought because it's hockey and has the NHL uniform, I found one sold. So actually, do you see the price? 10 bucks. So this was 10. New York Rangers, exactly the same. And it's sold for 65 US. So that's about $80 Canadian. This, this one was new in the box. I don't know, it doesn't say how to stand condition doesn't say so even $60 still a good flip what else we got here oh this is a cool find oh I took the price tag off it was $4.99 and look at this it's like a box but it's like a mini guitar case with $4.99 and I think it's vintage so any guitar player you can use this as your stash box for something or you can, it came, something was inside, it wasn't empty. Another treasure box. We're gonna open in three, two, one. Open. Yeah, it's just guitar picks. <laughs> but some cool ones from different stores, probably vintage ones. And there is um, some finger picks too, metal ones. In here made in USA. Cool guitar box and the guitar picks are perfect for the scale so people understand how big this is. USA, there is Steve's music store in Toronto, Walters in Brantford, Walters. Guitar picks, and this, this whole thing was five bucks. I'm gonna flip it on Etsy as vintage items. 
my listing might be even $75. Cool. Never seen one like that before. Pretty cool box. And nice, nice contents. Okay, another interesting item. This was on the next knock section. Look at this. Mahogany wood. And inside it's glass. And inside it's a silk embroidery. Chinese silk embroidery. It's a cut. And on the other side is a different cut. Maybe a skunk. $5.99 for this piece. Similar one, cut and sold $52, uh, a best offer, so about 40 bucks US, another $50 bill for the silk embroidery. Interesting find, knick-knack section. And oh, the last item in the knick-knack section, this might be a good one. $12.99 and this one I Google Lens it and I found that it was worth money and this thing I also Google Lens. This check out this clown. Clowns could be big. People collect them. And if you get have the right look, and this one kind of rare too. There is a brand the Capoli collection. They make different figurines, not only clowns. Uh, not too many souls, but there is one for sale. Somebody's asking over $200 for this guy. You never know. It's a rare find. Clowns are interesting. So some crazy people buy them and they spend the money. <laughs> Same clown, the Capoli clown. Asking price $200 US. 260 Canadian. So you might get it. Just high. And let it fly. <laughs> so yeah, that is my thrift haul. It was a quick stop. I didn't even look at the clothing. So just the hard goods. And that's what I found today. Woohoo. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. It's Adam from Shipping Vintage. Shippingvintage.com. And you'll see me in the next video. Cheers.